Here we go, C-Class, Brownsville, Southside They side. wanna bury me, now they can't bury me I'm the one they wanna be, look how they fuck with me Yeah, I'm on that fly shit, yeah, that do or die shit All I ever wanted was a life out the projects They wanna bury me, now they can't bury me I'm the one they wanna be, look how they fuck Yo, with me Yo, we here, FCC TV We got a guest today At 300 Studios We got FYBJ Main, straight from Chicago Let's start there Let's start there. Uh, That's why BJ Main. What up, Joe? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Word and folk, <clears throat> What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, Sean, a.k.a. Promo, a.k.a. Jonathan, PBWK. What's happening, man? Yo, we here. We here live on FCC TV. It's, it's, been, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. Ain't been on the camera in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been what? How long? It's been what? Two years? A year? How long? About about two. I'm about to say, you know, Facebook like bringing up memories. It's about two. About two years. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, what's good though? You know. What's up, y'all? Yeah, he alive. That's really him. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of the AIDS clinic. Yo. From Dr. CB. Yo, that shit was funny as hell. He's like, yo, that don't look like him, but it's shit funny as hell. <laughs> I was mad when I seen that shit and seen the way he was wearing that do-rag. I was not wearing my do-rag like that. That shit looked like goddamn popcorn, the Jiffy Pop. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He said, yo, it's his feet? <laughs> nah, that shit funny as hell. That would have been my feet if I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> But now we here though. So, so what was going on? What was going on during that time? Like, what was going on with with, with Sean, Jonathan? What was going on? Shit, man. I guess Jonathan was alright, but Sean was going through some shit. So basically, like, you know, I had a lot of you know personal shit going on at the time. You know, with family. You know, there's life situations and shit. So you know, at the time, I had a lot of shit going on and. It was too much for me, man. I got on my shell. That's what I do when I when, when I go through shit. I go on my shell. You know what I mean? So what is that like a childhood thing? Like what's what's where does that come from? Is that healthy? Like as you look on it, reflect on it. To be honest, nah, it's not healthy. But that's the way I am. That's what I'm used to. You know what I mean? Like, cause first of all, you know, you always taught. <laughs> nobody don't give a fuck about your problems, but you. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so you tend to keep shit to yourself or when you're going through something, you figuring out shit that whatever's going on. And like I said, you figure you figure out everything on yourself. Even if the people around you tell you they love you, they do you whatever for you with all that. But in your own mind, you're like, listen, I'm going through this. Ain't nobody going to be able to help me with that. So pretty much it's more of your own personal thing. Pretty much, yeah. That ass. A lot of my own personal shit. To be honest, if you really pay attention, I wasn't doing no skits or nothing at the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, I'm always doing skits or something. I wasn't doing nothing. Like, I was really in a dark place at the time. So, yeah, it was it was a little crazy for me. But we here now, though, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it definitely caught us off guard. We didn't know what happened. Say, so quit. You went on Facebook and quit. Like, what the fuck going on? Yeah, like, even, even with that, even with that, like I said, you know what I mean? Nigga was going through a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Even, like I said, with life. Then the entertainment thing. Nigga was just in the point in his life where he was just like, man, fuck all this shit, man. I, don't, I just wanna fall back and just chill for a minute, you know what I mean? My mom was fucked up, so I really had to get this right because, you know, without this, you can't do shit. So you basically can give the people understanding about entertainment, the fame, like, there's a lot coming with it, ain't just, yeah, it's more than just what they see. Exactly, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy, like, a lot of people were saying they be wanting this shit or whatever, but and I ain't even at the the fucking plateau to to, to, to feel that way, but you know what I mean? They ain't even at the tip of the iceberg, but that shit, like I said, man, when you got shit going on in life, and then you got this and that and that and this going on, man, I should have taken a toll on you, man, because you know real life always comes first for anything. So let me ask you. Yeah. Says you was coined Mr. Dookie Love. <laughs> You know we had to go there. You know we had to go there. The ladies, the ladies need to know this. Right. The ladies need to know this. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? So through your through your era of Mr. Dookie Love, have you been 
confronted by fans or supporters trying to get some Dookie love? Yo, man. Shit. I, I, Did he do it? No. We don't, <laughs> I don't eat no damn swine. But, um, yeah, hell yeah. I ain't going to front. No, since that scene came out, uh, <laughs> I was getting DMs like, mm, I sure I wish that was me. I'm like, oh my God, damn. I wasn't even really eating the butt. I just had my head under the blanket. It's like, it's like you do it so good. I look like I do it so good and my head just was under the blanket. I don't get that. Yeah, they but like yeah, they was trying to get them on their ass eh? I ain't eating no ass though. So what was what, what was that like though? Like now that you wake up and this in your DMs, like what's that feeling like now? It's like, oh shit, like this shit working. Well, like you know <laughs> I never had a problem with the ladies, you know what I mean? First and foremost, we're gonna get that out of the way, you know what I mean? I always was all right, you know what I mean? But I ain't going front. Um, I say the women got more bold. They got more bold. And there's more when random, there's more you know random I mean? people that you don't know from. Exactly, you know what I mean? Like, see, before, you know, I stopped getting pussy and all that, but you know, a female wouldn't at first be like, yo, I, man, it was some of them just like, yo. I, would, I want you to come eat my ass with the kiki. I'm like, damn, man, you don't even know me. But, you know, yeah, it was crazy, though. Still to this day, you know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy. Everybody, shout out to everybody that's seen me in the street. Call me Jonathan, asking about the new episode. I told you the episodes come out over time. You know what I'm saying? Yo, do it, do it feel weird, but you be like, yo, like... They really know me for eat some ass and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like nah, you, you yo, look back bro, on it like like bro, years ago. Do you weird. ever think you'll be on on YouTube eat ass type shit? Like, you be like, this is some crazy shit if you think about it. Nah, yo, you know what's crazy about that shit though? To be honest, nah, but I always wanted to act. So, I always seen myself doing something to entertain me, either comedy, acting, or something. Know what I mean, especially at the time. And we was running around with cop. You know what I'm saying doing the money balance show. We used to be with him with the cameras and all yeah. that. We used to be talking like, yo, nah, you gotta do this shit. So um, I saw, but then I, I saw, I saw myself doing it, but did I think I would actually do it? Nah. And now you know for the guys to get tongue in the butts. Yeah, that's the yeah. crazy part. And the BBW came. Yeah, 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 yo, big, yeah, yeah, big girls, yeah. I ain't going front. All my fluffy mommy show me mad love, like. No, I mean, shout out to my so, brother, all the BBW. How was that like now, like being being a, the, the the ambassador of that, like, you know what I mean, where yo, you coined it from people all over, like. Yo, you know what's crazy about that? Um, it's these dudes, they be doing BBW parties. And when the, when the see, I think it was about season three or four, they used to hit me up, like, yo, pop. I forgot these dudes' name. One named Cat Cost something. But they be doing these big BBW parties. They be like, yo, nigga, we need you at the party. You ain't go? You putting on. I ain't even go. You supposed to have been there putting your, you know what I mean? I ain't even go. I ain't even go front. I ain't even go. Word. I don't be, be liking too much of the crowd shit like that. I ain't going to front. But you I got you got to remember, yeah, exactly, the character. I go for business and shit, but. That's what you was there for. Like, yeah, but no. <laughs> It's a butt man. Right, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> you see a butt man. One thing, like, the, even with that shit too, you gotta be careful because motherfuckers will try to use you in the wrong way, so I'll be aware of that too. <laughs> what are you laughing, sir? <laughs> because it's the truth. You died over him over here. Yeah, that's <laughs> the truth, that's why you laughing. Sir, <laughs> so, I mean, sir. No P. Diddy shit, son, over there. I'm trying to tell you. Now, so what's going on now? What's what's, what's Jonathan, Sean, what's been lately? Well, um, well, last year I was doing the the, the podcast with uh, Lil Body T and Amy. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, did a lot of, got a lot of stand up. I'm doing now. I got some shows coming up. Um, got a couple other films I'm doing, and I do, and I do promo for my yeah, boy. yeah, yeah, the champ. Who's, who's what's going on, the champ? Well, I'm that's like Brownsville champ. Watching him grow so. from there to now. Yo, that shit is crazy. Like, I was just talking to him the other day about this. I was like, yo, I remember when your teeth was crooked. And you was like, hey, yo, Sean, yo, Sean, look, come to my fight. You're in my fight. I'm telling you, you're going to be champions. And, and then to see it actually Happy coming man. to fruition is the craziest shit to me. Like, that shit crazy, man. 
Word, that shit crazy, man. Shout out to my boy on winning them belts too, man. Hell my yeah. boy Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got that w shit going crazy. Champion. Brownsville. Yeah, you know what I mean? So the next we coming for the world champs, you heard? Yeah. So with, with the fight life, what's that like? And, and you can speak about the fight life, like behind the scenes, like, like how was that? Nah, that shit is, you know, um, I ain't going for, I love the boxing shit, man. Like, the, the, conglomerate, the conglomerate, the way everybody together. Like, one thing I learned about boxers, y'all see them being all cocky and shit, okay? Them niggas is humble and shit in real life. Because they know they can hurt you. A humble, per a, a humble person know they can hurt you. Like, they know they can hurt you. Them niggas is the nicest people in the world. And you get to see the little bullshit that go on in the background, too. But long as your team right... And you right, everything goes straight. So also, you had another film you was in, Bullet of the Ballad, where you played a cop. Yeah, that was crazy. That's on Tubi. Have you checked that out and saw yourself as a cop? What's that yeah, like? Yeah, yo, I was bugging out seeing myself in the Inspector Gadget jacket. <laughs> the hat, that was, that was the hat, all that, all that, all man. And the way I was like talking and and doing, I was like, damn, I kind of channeled in on that character. If I like had more time to really go, I could have went even more crazier. But that was dope though to see that I could um and let other people see that I could actually play a serious character. You know what I mean? To show that I got range. You know what I mean? You know, people that's funny is crazy anyway. They, their emotions is everywhere. So tell them about your stand up. What what was your first stand up like? Like what? Yo. My first stand-up was crazy. It was in East New York. It was in the East at this taco spot. I ain't going front, yo. When they called my name, my knees was shaking, bro. Like, my knees was shaking? Yo, nigga, I'm like, they, they like, and coming to the stage from Brownsville, Brooklyn, you made them scratch. Show me. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm really about to do this? <laughs> Everybody cheering and shit. And I came out. But once I got on the stage, though, and I got that first laugh, it was over for me. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I was in East New York, so it was a little easy. I started talking about the hoes and shit out there, and they started going crazy. And I just, you know what I mean? It was, it was a dope experience, though. I ain't going front. So, what did you see yourself doing? More stand up? Definitely, yeah. I got, I actually got about, I got coming in April, and then I got two more in May. So, that I got five shows coming up in, in the next span of two months. So, I, ha I have that info out there. For everybody let y'all know. Yeah, come check your boy out, man. I ain't going front, man. I I didn't know I could make people laugh like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy. So what's some of your your, your goals you wanna set as a stand up comedian as you see how how comedy is going nowadays? Like do you right. feel you could be expressive like like Dave Chappelle and everybody or Cat Williams? Like do you feel like you um you know how you feel Well I feel like I'm old school and I'm gonna talk about everything that's fucking going on. I ain't got no filter. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean no harm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to say whatever I want to say because that's what comedians do. If you motherfucking, if you sit to comedians, you ain't going to get no real comedy, man. The comedians is here to say the shit that y'all want to say. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, you know what I mean? That's what my man agreed with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, talk that shit. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm, I'm going to say whatever comes so to mind. So let me ask you this. Are you afraid to get canceled? The cancel culture? Nah, man. I'm already from the street. What are they going to do? Send me back to the veil? I'm here. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. I ain't afraid to get canceled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, imagine this question, right? You're a comedian, right? Mm -hmm. You're upcoming. Looking for your big break, right? Right. P. Diddy said, yo, I got a deal for nah, your revoke. Nah, I ain't even got to finish that thing. <laughs> I'm going to go goddamn Diddy. How ain't going to diddle me? He going to diddle me. <laughs> Diddly me, nah, we ain't going to Diddy House, man. We ain't gonna do that. I'm, I'm just saying, he got, he got the deal, uh, got the bread on the man. table. Shit, all deals ain't good deals. <laughs> uh, I Dave Chappelle, that shit. We don't do that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> Nigga, tell your dog be quiet. What you want me to do? Stop laughing so hard. Hell no, no Diddy deals, though. They gonna say y'all was in the trap. Had the dog barking and shit, the police cover. Ain't no diddy. So I think G went to go buy crack, sir. I don't know. What's up with my man? Yeah, that was too long to go get one bottle, son. I hope he okay. Did and he, he said two money? seconds. Where he at? I'm going I'm to get my drink while I'm doing the interview.
So, you're not wearing a dress for Tyler Perry, Ice Cube? No, no. Your own movie? Now, if I'm in I, the I, so like place. this. All right, so boom. Pretty much, Cat Williams said, you get the Kevin Hart package. You come into Hollywood, you get you get a, no, a sitcom right. on TV, you get all that from the gate. Nah, I, I wouldn't do that because maybe back in their time, when they first started, they would do it because they have to, but the way the independent thing is going right now, you don't have to do nothing you don't want to do. You just put out your own shit, you get lit on your own. You don't have to do anything. That's one thing I love about the internet and everything that's going on right now. You don't have to follow their rules. You see the writer's strike. What happened when the writer's strike? Tubi went up. Independent filmmakers went up. So you don't need them. You don't have to do what they tell you to do. So, no, I wouldn't do it. But remember, it's a different up, up. Yeah. That's up, but it's a different up, up. When Listen, up is up to me. I'm from the fucking bottom, you heard? Pause. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the veil, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? They can get shit, a few, a couple dollars, health insurance, life insurance, <laughs> take care of my family, I'm all right. I don't need the zillions and zillions. If it comes, it's nice now. But, you know what I mean? Dang, but I'm chasing. I just want to take care of my family. So, do you believe that, that, that if you don't go that route, you're going to be as successful? I do. I do. Well, I believe it to a certain extent because this motherfucker, like you got, like Ice Cube, they ain't do none of that. But they still be trying to do their bullshit to him, but he's still eating. You don't have to do nothing that you don't want to do. And what I learned is, too, when you're doing acting and when you sign up for these casts and stuff, they ask you what are you willing to do. You fill that out on the application. So people be acting like they surprised to get in the gay role. No, they ask you in this, are you willing to do this? Are you willing to kiss a man? Are you willing to wear a dress? Are you willing to shave your beard? But they ask you all of these questions, so, no. Oh, so they already know. They just ask exactly. after it happened, they act shocked. Exactly, so. Nah, that's crazy, that's crazy. Nah, that's a fact, though. Like, I, I sat there, went on all these casting networks, and, and they asked these questions. What, what roles would you do and what you wouldn't do? And you check what you wouldn't do and what you would do. So some people be like, oh, they gonna offer me a dress. Nigga, you said you'll wear a dress. Yeah, it makes sense now you put it that way. Like you put yourself on a, you know what I mean? They don't do that all the time. No. They do it after you do that, after well, they Cat, do it. Well, we said Martin said he had a movie for him, Big Mama House 2. Like that. And he gave it to Brady T. Jackson. Yeah. And then he said he regretted it. He just but my it. thing is, first of all, Cat Williams, too old to play Martin's son. So I don't know how you would have fit in that movie, but it makes sense. Like something well, they turned him into a deacon. And next Sunday. On Norman. Oh, yeah. No, that was, that was next Sunday. Last Sunday. You ever seen the song from Snowfall? He, he said how he regretted getting a break team. Mm -hmm. the, Yo, oh, even with that, let me tell you, I did a no-no, but boss? I did a scene. No, but I did a no, it's crazy. Even with a rape scene, right? I, I, I did a film. Um, it should be coming out, but it got a rape scene in it. You and raped the person? No. Oh. But you know what's crazy? I had to be the person in the background acting like they filming the rape. Oh. Okay. That shit was great. Like, that shit really, like, you. And that's when I knew I was an actor because that shit was making me mad as a motherfucker seeing the girl sitting there scream and go crazy. And I got to sit there acting like I'm filming it. You know what I mean? And, and that showed me another thing about actors channeling the in because as soon as the scene was over, Mind you, I'm fresh on being like on a set set. I'm fresh, so I went to go talk to her after the scene, like, yo, you did good. She couldn't talk. She, she went in the bathroom, started crying. So, and, let me ask you this question. You know what I mean? Could you play the rapist and pull it off? Be a great rapist? I could pull off anything, to be honest. You know what I mean, I'm not talented, but what I want to do it, no. And you know what's crazy? I say that to say this. It, it might, might sound be in a script. crazy. It might be in a script. What, what, what it might sound crazy is coming from where we come from, you're able to channel in different shit. Coming from where we coming from. You know how to act like an alcoholic. You know how to act like a crackhead. You know how to act like a rapist. You know how to act like a nigga that's getting money. You know how to act like a gangster. You, you know how to be funny. Like when you come from the hood, it's, it's so much different type of people around you that you're able to channel in to these characters because these people characters in your head of people that you see around you so 
know what I mean? That the they say art reflect life, that's some real shit. Only thing I, I probably can't do, like like far as I like, like be in a role where motherfucker be a racist to me and I, I can't play, play no slave right. bro. I can't right. I can't. I think I'll snuff a nigga do the scene. You call right. me the what? Yo, so but, I care. But you gotta turn it off. Right, see, that's what I, I was saying. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't take it. I right. wouldn't, I wouldn't see, take that's it. That's what I was saying too. Like, what I was saying to my home, my home girl, um, she gonna be mad, I forgot her name, but she, when she did the rape scene, like, that shit was crazy. Like, she really had to channel that. And then you don't know what people have been through yeah. in their real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so my dude got to really act it out, so he exactly. really got to Exactly. Like, so it's like... She's feeling really, helpless for real. Like, oh, shit. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Nigga, I'm sitting there acting like I'm recording, and I'm going to get up and... <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Moy. He played that rape as good as a motherfucker. He's like, yo, <laughs> sure, real. I was about to jump up and whoop his ass. I'm like, yo. Then she's sitting there. Ah! I'm like, yo, but then it was overcut. How is that? Is that good? Is that good? Boom, but then I'm going to hug like, yo, that's good. She's like, give me a minute. And she went in the bathroom, cried it out, then came out and rewatched it. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. Too. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of times in some of the movies, the characters we play, we play the victors. We don't really play the victim. Victim, yeah. That's a fact, especially with a lot of the, uh, like the films we do, the independent films. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like, yo, they, they, they get to play these certain roles. But, but even with this shit, class, you know, you had motherfuckers like, yo, motherfucker, you got motherfuckers that don't even want to get robbed in the scene. You know what I'm saying? So imagine, you know what I mean? It was like, nigga, you only acting. But then, I, you know, motherfuckers, you want to be projected and looked at a certain way, but when you really love the art, you do whatever, but you got to have a limit yeah. for certain shit. You got to stand for something or you'll fall for uh, Definitely. So tell them where they can find you at. Let's well, look you up. You know what I'm saying? You can find me on Facebook, Sean Mitchell. You know what I'm saying? You can find me on, you, on YouTube, Promo TV. You can find me on Instagram, Go Boy Promo, G-O-E-B-O-Y underscore promo. And we at 300 Studios. We at 300 <laughs> Live Studios. Well, you got pit bulls, hookers, and everything up in this joint. Yeah, definitely. This shit is, you know what I mean? Really a studio. My man put it together. Look, he over in the corner. Nah, you yo, can't see him. Too. Yo, and let me tell you. Oh, yeah, before we end this, right? Let me tell y'all something, too. To all, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the fans and all that. Like, y'all cool and all of that. But let me tell y'all something. Y'all don't know what's in real life. Y'all be sitting there. Oh, glad your black is fucked up. Yo, John didn't make me weird. When I see him, then right? you ain't gonna do nothing. But you don't even know. We, we, we cool in real life. When you run down, we gonna fuck you up. All right? <laughs> you heard? I knew him my whole life. Shit like that. Don't sit there and think y'all can motherfucking come and try to motherfucking sprinkle and season some shit up. All right? We a fucking family. Take that. Exactly. Just because we going through something, that don't mean y'all can go through what we going through, okay? Right. It's only a movie, dog. That's all I mean. Like, I just wanted to get that out there because I be seeing some of y'all D-riding because y'all probably trying to get killed in the scene or something. Listen, you could get killed in the scene without trying to kick my back in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just tell class you want to get in the scene. You ain't got to talk bad about me to get in the scene. You already know. Here we go, C class, Brownsville, South. They wanna bury me, now they can't bury me. I'm the one they wanna be. Look how they fuck with me. Yeah, I'm on that fly shit. Yeah, that do a die shit. All I ever wanted was a life out the projects. They wanna bury me, now they can't bury me. I'm the one they wanna be. Look how they fuck with me.